Introduction to Cascading Style Sheets. Now, a cascading style sheet is a separate script that is used to develop websites for the internet. The CSS script allows for web developers to modify the styles and sections that will appear in multiple web pages, whether that be two or three web pages or thousands of web pages. Pretty much if the web page is linked to the style sheet, it can then be all centralized its editing of the page's styles within the style sheet. So in order for it to use the CSS file in conjunction with the HTML web page, a user needs to enter the appropriate linking code within the HTML document's head tag. As well, any sections defined within the CSS script also need to be referenced in the HTML document between the body tags using div tags. And the div tags will state the name of the actual sections that you are defining. So it might be a navigation section, a header section. Okay, Its name needs to be defined within the HTML document as well. As mentioned, Okay, a great advantage of the CSS script to modify the styles and sections of a website is that a single CSS document can be applied to multiple web pages, meaning any web page linked to the CSS file can be modified and updated in a single location. So think about larger websites and how many web pages make up that website. In many cases, it's thousands of web pages. If they're all linked to the same single style sheet, I can update the fonts, the styles, the sections, all of that just in the one file. And then as soon as I save that file, all the HTML documents linked to that file automatically update. So potentially hundreds or thousands of pages at once. So what I'll do is give you now a quick look at a style sheet. So over here's my web page and over here's my style sheet. And now this is actually a full website. You can see there are five pages. Okay, so this is my home page. Here's my about page. And here's my contact page. All right, they're all just simple for the purpose of showing you how a style sheet may work. Now, in my style sheet here, you can see I have defined some sections. I've got a header section, which is up here. I've got a navigation section where I've got all my navigation buttons to get to my web pages. I've also got a body section, which contains the content of each of the individual web pages and how it will be pretty much different on every web page. Okay, and then a footer section, which just has my name down the bottom. Underneath my sections, I've also redefined the elements of my HTML tag. So you can see my H1 for my heading one here. I've got an unordered list, which I'm using uh, as my navigation bar. All right. And then I've also um, been redefining some other elements related to what happens when I hover over those sections there. Now, we've already said the whole advantage of the style sheet is that this is used to link to multiple web pages. And you can see here it's linking to five of my different web pages of my website. But the great advantage too is if I'm not happy with something, I can just edit it in my style sheet and all my pages will update. So if I'm not happy with my heading one here, what I might decide is I don't really like that shade of blue that I'm using there for my heading one. I think it needs to be a bit brighter. I might decide that I actually want the color to be yellow. So I'm going to change it to the HTML code for yellow. And I'm going to also change the color as well to 300%. Okay, I think it just needs to be that little bit bigger to stand out a bit more. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to save my style sheet. So I'm going to go Command S. And now I'm going to reload my page. And as you can see now, it's actually gone bigger and it's yellow now. All right, but that's not just the advantage. I could have done that in HTML within my document. The advantage is you can see it's automatically done it for all my other pages as well. So everything was centralized in the style sheets. And so as I said, if I had a hundred different web pages within my website, okay, all of their headings would have been updated in this centralized location. So I hope this video has given you an understanding of the real advantage of using cascading style sheets. Essentially that allows us to define sections and styles that will be used throughout my website and that I can edit and update all these styles in one centralized location, saving me a lot of time and tedious work.